Okay, so I thought I would just take a look at my junk journal before I start it. Um, all I did was took like uh, mail flyers that I get in the mail and stapled them together and then I cut it down to size. So I'll show you what it looks like now and then um, I'll show it to you again when it's done. And these are just envelopes I can use in those um, pockets and they'll have like little see-through. Um, all it is is junk. That's another pocket. And you can see I just used staples to hold it all together. I used a swing stapler, which is this, and it swings this way. Oops. And uh, I love this thing. I got it on Amazon, and it is called, if I can do it right, that's what it's called. So anyway, I'm going to gesso all of these pages and I'm going to begin painting and this is going to be like a positive um, quotes and um, Bible verses and anything positive and uplifting is going to be in here and I'm going to carry it in my pocket size TN and uh, that's what it looks like right now. Okay, so this is after I have put gesso and um, the distress stains on each page. And I can't do a tutorial on this right now because I don't have a tripod and I can't do this one handed. So um, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to, t to show you what I did. Um, this is with one coat of gesso and I used I used this gesso and it is pretty opaque uh, matte finish and uh, not too thick but um, anyway so what I what I will do with this is I will put uh, the distress stains on here and then I'll gesso over it again with the white and it will end up looking similar to this um, and then I still have the side to do here and all these words will be gone once I do that so they won't they won't be there and you can see that in the front because um, the front looks kind of like this kind of like that had all that writing on it and stuff um, but I just sewed over it because it's just junk mail but uh, anyway, so here's the another one, and I did them all exactly the same, and you can kind of see the thing, the thing underneath showing through, and that doesn't bother me. I'll cover it up some other way. And uh, here's another one. I used many different colors, and let's see if I turn the light on, you can see the sparkle from um, a stencil that I sprayed with. Um, the Tattered Angels spray <clears throat> and then um, this one I did with a palette knife so rather than using a brush to put the gesso on I just kind of used a palette knife and put it on oh the glimmer mist that's what that is <clears throat> um, but anyway Sorry, I'm having really bad allergies, so I keep having to clear my throat. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. Um, but uh, I glued the sides with glue. And the reason why I use glue and not tape is because glue dries hard and tape stays sticky. So when you stick something in that pocket, if it had tape in it, it would stick to the tape. But the glue will let it slide in and out. So there's another pocket. And every single page here is done exactly the same. I haven't done this page yet. Uh, I like the way the paper feels because it has like really extra tooth to it. And I like that page a lot. And 
that one too it's just kind of messy and you can see the colors that bled through from the other pages and that one and that one and so this one I glued as well you can see the glue there and I kind of like went over the window a little bit just to make it look tattered and <clears throat> There we go. So that's what it looks like right now. And I am going to add some more stuff to it and do some more stuff with it. And I will keep you up to date. Uh, if you want to have a tutorial on how to do this, please comment below. Uh, as I said, this is going to be like <clears throat> a kind of like a gratitude slash positive uplifting place to journal it is a pocket size so it's the same size as a field notes and i will have it in my journal so that well not my journal but i'll have it in my traveler's notebook so that when i want to record a quote or a thought or something that is positive i can put it in there and reflect on it anywho thanks for looking uh if you want to see a tutorial on this, let me know. I will post an update on this every now and then so that you can see the progress on it. But if you would like a tutorial, let me know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.